are you interested to work with other stakeholders and also to increase your network capability if you are a person like that consider yourself starting your career as a sales force admin so just right diving into the video is not going to be just helpful for you but if you are already in this position this is going to be rightly suiting you because we would be covering up various other skills and also what does it take for you to elevate your career as well so stay tuned till the end and do not miss any part of it welcome back to freshers now and we are going to start off with the definition part which is a sales force administrator would be working with other stakeholders to define the system requirements and also to customize them customization is going to be the prior responsibility of a sales force admin to put it simply or to put it on an easy manner for you to understand this would enable the users to have or inculcate most out of this sales force technology so the prior part is going to be about customization as well as you should also be meeting the needs of the company company's goals and responsibilities has to be fulfilled or has to be taken as a responsibility prior part for this sales force admin so if you want to step into this role you have to step in with confidence how are you going to get the confidence only if you know how you will be paid as a sales force admin so with that note we have collected the data from pay scale and on an average basis just on an average basis the pay given to a sales force admin over india is going to be 4 lakhs 90000 per annum and do you want to know how their career graph is going to look like or their professional life is going to look like from first year to over 10 years this is how the graph is going to be elevated consider yourself that 1 to 4 years might be a giving you a median growth but eventually implementing the right skills is going to give you that ample amount of exposure as well please remember this is going to differ from company to company because in some organization they would be hiring only individual in order to put this role into action but in some companies they might be hiring up various other people and putting out in a department it depends and also differs from company to company so with that note you should know where you have to land in order to start your career in this in order to land in a particular place you should know how that place is paying these sales force admins so we are heading over to location wise pay scales the first place is going to be mumbai a market place for many opportunities which is paying 4 lakhs 87000 per annum a good start off bangalore again a land of opportunities for international and national companies 5 lakhs 42000 per annum is going to the market place and then hyderabad for the south which is going to give you that networking opportunity of around 4 lakhs 91000 per annum pune 4 lakhs 13000 reaching out to the average pays indeed and noida 5 lakhs per annum so you got an idea as to how they are being paid in major cities we would be now stepping over as to how companies are paying because tomorrow if you land in one of these companies which i have just mentioned you should be well aware as to how much you need to demand if you are having the right certifications and the skills so the first company is accenture because a well known reputed accenture itself is paying 4 lakhs per annum so if you are landing tomorrow in accenture you know what you have to ask for and next cognizant 4 lakhs 70000 again a balanced pay with and next we are heading over to the skills why are these skills important not just mentioning out but if you are landing in cities or companies which are mentioned you should know that you are having these skills to put out into action as well as you are well aware enough that you can implement them as well so some of the skills that i'd be mentioning are as follows data management ability to translate ideas into processes so this is where you would be putting into action flexible communication and leadership skills in order to negotiate understand the sales process sales force resourcefulness you should also be knowing about project management and how it has to be organized so management is going to be also 
the prior task, organization strategies, optimization, developer mindset. So you should not only have these skills, but the major skill is going to be here itself, the developer mindset, because you should be well aware how you are meeting the needs, how you are effectively producing, and as well as how you are majorly processing it. Management strategy action is going to be the solution or the formula, the parameter that he or she has to be following as a Salesforce admin. So what does it take to become one or what does this person actually do? Salesforce admin are going to be solely responsible for the task ranging from helping the users, developing reports and also to reset passwords. From here till maintaining the quality of the data, adding various other fields and also running up backups among various others. So consider yourself that a Salesforce admin is going to be a multitasker. A multitask role is going to be aligned to this position. So if you are interested in one, consider yourself to note down these points where you can have a clear picture of how the job life going to be have magnificent management skills so as a salesforce admin you should be well aware as to how you are managing as well as putting your strategical thought into action possess proficiency in interacting with people at all levels of the company you should also be capable in effectively analyzing their data this would be much more efficient in you if you know about the reporting part and next you should also know how you are able to manage using or implementing multiple sources. Be an expert in Salesforce for handling various other business related issues. So you would be eventually knowing and capturing all of the data as well as implementing what are the right set of implications that you need to keep further fulfilling. So what are the job roles which are aligned with this? You need to have checks for changes that need to be done during the business processes taking care of all the available tools and knowing about various other sales port tools you should be well aware what are the revolutionizing ideas and implications that the market is bringing organize the assessment extension and also bringing out a conclusion to the new request for the further development eventually as i've told you should also always have a plan you should also have uh, the management skill Plus, you should know the strategic point and that would equal to putting it into action. So, this is the parameter scale that a Salesforce admin should be implementing. So, if you have any other opinions regarding this, place them in the comment section. And if you want more videos which are related to careers, consider subscribing. And also, please do share it with your friends and help them to sort out their career. Thank you for tuning in.